What's good, so one of the What's good, Swans again? You know, my name is T Sons. We back for another day to make some books. You feel me? Now, look, as today, as you saw by the thumbnail and the motherfucking title, my God. It just was me telling you how to avoid getting frizzy dreads. Now, I know a lot of y'all got like starter locks. You feel me? That's how I get most of my subscribers. Most of y'all just got starter locks. Y'all had problems with y'all dreads. So, I guess I'm just a dread doctor. So, that's what my title is. But yeah, I got a couple things to help y'all with y'all frizzy dreads, bro. Like, it's like a couple, it's not really a lot, but it's easy things. Like usually I have a lot of things, but it's not really that hard to fix frizzy dress or to avoid them at all. So stay tuned for this. If you new message, you like, comment, subscribe, you finna roll to 20K. And I ain't trying to waste too much time on this video. Let's just get straight into it. All right, look, number one, bro. If you might be like, what is frizzy here? Bro, it, it literally sounds, the way it is is how it sounds, bro. Frizz is basically like a whole bunch of hair around the dread that's not inside the dread, you feel me? So I say, say if I had this dread, if it's a lot of hair, look, you can see how these little hairs sticking out of my dread. Bro, I'm talking about like a lot of more hair though. Like as you've seen in the thumbnail, that's what it's like. That's what frizz is. Now frizz is natural, bro. There's nothing wrong with frizz. There's nothing wrong with having a few hairs out your dread. So especially when you first start, you usually having around the button stage. Buttons when your hair is like starting to lock up a little bit, but it ain't fully locked though. It's like just a little bit, you feel me? To the point where you could basically wash your hair. That's the stage that frizz mostly happens. Or if you just scratch your head too much, bro, your hair gonna be frizzing. But frizziness is natural. There's nothing wrong with being like having frizzy dreads or nothing wrong with having hair, bro. There's really nothing wrong with just having wild, like the wild look, you feel me? So if you like frizzy hair, bro, just do you, you feel me? I like having a little frizzy on my roots, it's cool. For y'all that's wondering about this hair up here, bro, I gotta crochet into my dread cause it all literally just came out. So I gotta buy a crochet hook and learn how to do everything and then I'll make a video on it. But in order to avoid your dreads from getting frizzy or to help them get frizzy, bro, you gotta realize why they got frizzy so it don't happen again. But one day frizzy if you scratch way too much, bro. I know it's tough. Get you some Jamaican mango and lime, no itch, grow spray. I think that's what it is. It's something like that, bro. You can really just type it in. Like, you can really just type in Jamaican mango and lime, no itch, bro. That really helps. And it really grow your hair soon. That's two in one right there. But quit scratching too much, bro. Use your fingertips, just go like this. And you're like, bro, give your scalp a massage just like this, bro. That's all you gotta do. Or just put on the hood or something to cover your head so you can stop scratching it. Number two, why your dress be frizzy, bro, is because, my boy, your head is like super dry. Like, you gotta, you gotta do something, my dude. You gotta sweat or something. Like, you literally just sit around in bed all day. You ain't doing nothing with your head. It ain't getting no sunshine, not producing no oils. It's just there. You gotta do something, bro. Wet your hair every here and there, you feel me? Sweat, do something. But that's another reason why your hair gets super frizzy because your hair is just dry, so like, it just ain't going. It's not It's not working, bro. You ain't finna go to work if you ain't getting paid, right? What was that? Another thing is heat damage. I say this because most of y'all be like, bro, you don't use heat on your dreads at all. Bro, when you get a retwist after the lactation is done, she most definitely put you under that hot old head thing heat bro don't do that bro just just let it air dry just let your hair air dry you can say no it's like going to the barbershop you tell them what you want i mean i'm pretty sure you tell your lactician what you want too but bro you ain't gotta get the, the, the that's like bro that's like putting alcohol on your head after the barbershop you can tell your barber bro i don't want no alcohol you can tell them i don't want no enhancements none of that same thing with the, the head thing just be like i don't want it i don't want to heat dry you no know, so i just want to let it air dry it's more healthier that way anyways now let's get to the point where how you avoid it. This is how you avoid frizzy dreads. Protect your dreads at night. Y'all know I say this bro in like almost every single video. Wear a do-rag, wear a bunny. And it's like some special pillow bro. I don't know the name, but it's like you can type in pillow for dreads. I think, I don't know. But I remember seeing a pillow, it's like black and it got like this type of material on it that protect your hair or something. Well, it don't protect it, it just makes sure that it don't get all messed up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Another thing is palm roll retwist, bro. When you retwist your hair, palm roll, that's like this that's literally squishing the hair together and tangling it up together just by doing this because you also squeezing the dread like this you feel me so that's gonna do do what it do it's gonna get the job done when you do the palm roll twist slash retwist whatever you do bro it's not gonna happen overnight you feel me none of these processes is gonna happen overnight it's gonna happen like give it a month maybe a, maybe two weeks but i say give it a month your hair not gonna be frizzy no more next thing bro i had to do some research on this bro when you brush your dress like it's a certain i don't think it's a certain brush it's like a hard brush though you just grab the dread bro and you literally just brush it like some people really do brush their dreads i heard that it's healthy i'm gonna start getting into that i guess because i want the healthiest dreads i can get but they brush their dreads for one that controls the hair and which motion you want it to go just like waves, you feel me? And it helps spread the natural oils from your scalp throughout the whole dread. Spreading the moisture, you feel me? I guess that's why I don't have no frizz, bro, because like, I really don't have no frizz. So, yeah, like, even when I start my, like, regular retwist, like, down to my scalp, bro, I don't have, look, I'm going to show y'all. Like, bro, I don't have no frizz, really. I really don't. It's just my parts is 
growing. That's it. But I don't really have that much frizz at all. So if you just keep your hair wet, bro, not wet. If you just keep your hair moisturized, bro, you're going to be straight. Yeah, that's all I got to say for this video. Hope y'all did enjoy. Make that you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I know this video is short. I got a couple more videos coming for y'all. So stay tuned. I'm about to be live streaming on Twitch again. I'm about to be posting on my second channel again. So make sure y'all subscribe to that. We just hit 500. Let's get that channel to 1,000 subscribers. We about to go crazy on there. I'm telling you, that channel might be bigger. Bro, that channel is going to be bigger than this one. So it's either you want to subscribe now or you just going to subscribe later. Either way it go, you're going to have to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out. Yeah, that's all I got to say. I got to get this video off y'all. I ain't trying to hold y'all too long. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new once again. And let's get it. Smiley Gang, no game. We out.